Here we went and picked up 25 little feeder guppies. Ricky came up to say hi. <laughs> he went and poked his head up. <laughs> oh my god. How many times are you gonna miss? Where are these guys in What's going on guys? Welcome back to the video. I just got back from the store. We went and picked up some guppies to put into my alligator snapper tub. So he got a little bit of decoration makeover. He's getting some fish. We can breed some uh, guppies in there so we can have food available at all times. So we're gonna do that. Give you guys a quick little update on how everybody else is doing. We did go and clean the big hypo snappers tub. I said before, the tub got really dirty. The pump wasn't doing the job that I wanted to do. But I went and fixed that and we got all that fixed up, everything's going amazing, but let's get into the video. Right down here, if you guys remember, I made a video on me setting up this tub, how I came out, just have some nice little plants over here. I did go and re, I do a little makeover, because the live plants that I had in here did go and die off. They do better in sunlight, but I went and added the fake plants back. I just picked this up at the aquarium that I got the fish from. It's a nice little piece of driftwood. Fits in perfect, and you can see he seems to like it. He's been hiding under it the whole time, poking in and out, but he's doing good. Pump is doing a good job at keeping this water nice and clean. So there's still some stuff down there, but still not as bad as it would be. The fish are gonna take care of that, and the flow is doing amazing. I did an amazing job at making this little filter. Still never had any leaks, so I'm really proud of that. Overall, this tub came out amazing, and he is doing really well. And I did go and hide the heater back under these leaves, so you can't see it, but it keeps his water temp at a nice 78 right now. So he is right where I want him to be. And of course, you got his UVB light, which doesn't really do much for a turtle his size, being that they mainly hide under all the leaves and stuff, so they don't really get as much sunlight in the wild. Anyway, but it's still just a good addition to have. And right over here, we have my big hypo snapper. She is doing amazing as well. I did clean her tub, like I said. She was just shedding an insane amount. You can still see on the back right there. I mean, she's growing, but it was just too much for the pump. It couldn't clean the whole tub. So I had to go in there with a net that I have over here and manually scoop it all out. Adjusted that so the water is still stirred up a bit, but overnight it should settle and everything should be a lot cleaner And the filter that I made is still doing a decent job I probably have to go in there and swap out all the pads and everything clean everything out and try and clean some of these tubes Just because she is really dirty and She is a little pain in the butt but Have to do what you have to do These little guys are already fed I just made a TikTok on them also, so if you guys aren't following me, make sure you guys go and do that. You guys will be seeing a lot of these guys on there. And we got this little dude eating some green leaf lettuce. I think he fell asleep under it. But everybody is doing really well. Floor just got fed. I don't know where they are. They're probably under the moss somewhere right now. Probably in the usual little hiding spots. I don't know if one's in there. You guys can see or not. But these guys are doing amazing. So right here, we went and picked up 25 little feeder guppies to put into his pond where he can go and hunt and eat however many he wants. But I'm hoping most of these end up surviving and start breeding in there because it would be nice to have a whole like unlimited supply of guppies for him to eat, which is the plan. But we'll see how many of these guys survive and we'll go and put these guys in there. Pour these guys in here. Oh my. I think that's all. Let's um, make sure we didn't leave any in the bag. All right. So now we're gonna take all these little fish. You guys can see them all right here. The tiny little guppies. We're gonna go put them into his little pond. And that is all of them. These guys are so tiny. Can't wait to get some clips of him using his little lure. As you guys know, alligator snapping turtles have 
that little worm-like tongue that they use to go and lure fish into their mouth. So I can't wait to see him do that and be able to catch some of these fish. But a lot of these guys are really small. So like I said, I'm hoping most of them get to grow up and reproduce in here. So we have a bunch of guppies. Look at that one down there. That one is really tiny. But he's right there. He's just been looking around. It's really cute. Look who came up to say hi. <laughs> he went and poked his head up. So right over here, I already went and cut up some tilapia for this big girl and him. I'm gonna see if he wants to eat some. So we're gonna take, start with this piece. Hungry? Oh, I dropped it. Let me go grab a different one for now. Oh my God, how many times are you gonna miss? There she goes. No, stop. Trying to grab that piece that I dropped. Don't want to get my hand bit. Here. This girl is crazy. Let's see if King wants to eat. Take one of these little pieces. Like I said, he still has not ate from the tongs yet. Still waiting on the day that he does, hoping I get it on camera. Don't think today is going to be the day either. So we're just gonna go, just drop it right there for him. And grab the other little two pieces that I cut up and put them over there as well. Let's see if he'll come around to it and wanna eat. Find out in the morning. But this girl, she is always ready to eat. I got a few more pieces for her right over here that we're gonna go and feed. Come here. You are crazy. I like to give her a second in between her eating these pieces just so that she doesn't like spit any up. She has, she tried to swallow too much at once and ended up spitting them out. Oh, she just splashed water in my face. Here. What are you doing? Not try to take tongs out of my hand again. All right, come on, last piece. That's all you're getting for today. Let's make sure she gets that. And there it goes. That is how it's like feeding one of these big old snappers. How is he doing over here? I'm trying to get a little angle of him. He just likes to hide. This guy is not social at all. Even got some of the guppies going and taking little bites out of the tilapia. Pretty funny. I might have to get an aerator for this tub too. Just produce some more oxygen for these little guppies. But I think that'll do for now. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I've been waiting to add fish into this pond for like three weeks now. Every time I called the aquarium, they never had any in stock. I also went and added that log in there. The tub is now fully complete. Like I said, I might have to add an aerator for the guppies, but I'm not sure yet. They should be fine, we'll see how it goes. But as for now, that is all done. The big snapper is doing amazing. You guys saw she is 100% used to me now. Takes food from me every single time. And she's looking at me right now. It's pretty funny, look at her. But they are both doing really good. Snappers are just amazing pets to have. But like I said, follow me on TikTok. You guys will be seeing a lot of these guys on there. I've been really consistent posting about every single day on there. Make sure you guys go and check that out. Follow me. You guys will be seeing a lot of consistent uploads of them. But I am trying to be more consistent on YouTube. I've just been working a lot, getting a lot of overtime hours. So the times that I am home, I'm like sleeping most of the time. But like I said, I am gonna be more consistent. We have videos coming out, lots of things to make. So if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Like this video, comment down below any video ideas you guys have for me. And I'll see you guys in the next video.